हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर डायगोनलाइजेबल मैट्राइसिस वी विल ऑल्सो सी एन एग्जाम्पल ऑन इट वेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन हैज टू नो वॉट आर सिमिलर मैट्राइसिस नोट दैट सिमिलर वर्ड डजेंट मीन सेम और इक्वल सो लेट एस सी वॉट आर सिमिलर मैट्राइसिस अ स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स ए इज सेट टू बी सिमिलर to matrix b if there exists an invertible matrix p such that a is equal to p b p inverse invertible matrix means the matrix whose determinant is not equal to 0 now let us see the definition of diagonalizable matrix we say that a matrix a is diagonalizable if it is similar to a diagonal matrix here if we take that matrix b is diagonal matrix then a is diagonalizable a diagonal matrix is a matrix whose non diagonal elements are all equal to 0 for example this matrix here you can see that this is the diagonal of the matrix in which not all elements are 0 but non diagonal elements are all 0 Now we see how to determine whether the matrix A is diagonalizable or not. For that, we have to take help of these theorems. Theorem one says that if A is n cross n matrix, that is A is a square matrix, and if A has eigen values that are all real and distinct, that means eigen values of A are all different. None of the eigen value is repeated. then a is always diagonalizable so it is easy to say that whenever a has distinct and real eigen values a is diagonalizable matrix that means a can be written as p d p inverse now what if eigen values of a are not all real or distinct in that case we have to follow theorem number 2 it says that for a square matrix a if algebraic multiplicity of every eigen value is same as its geometric multiplicity then a is diagonalizable now you may wonder what is algebraic and geometric multiplicity so let us discuss what it is first we discuss what is algebraic multiplicity of eigen value of a a the algebraic multiplicity of an eigen value is the number of times it appears as a root of the characteristic polynomial of the matrix that means the number of times that eigen value is repeated so for example if the eigen values of a are 1 1 and 2 then the eigen value 1 is repeated two times so its algebraic multiplicity is 2 eigen value 2 occurs only once so its algebraic multiplicity is 1 now we talk about what is geometric multiplicity of eigen value of a the geometric multiplicity of eigen value of a is the maximum number of linearly independent eigen vectors associated with it so if lambda is a eigen value and x1 and x2 are the two eigen vectors which are linearly independent and associated to lambda then we say that geometric multiplicity of lambda is 2 you can find the number of linearly independent eigen vectors associated to particular eigen value using the following note the number of linearly independent eigen vectors is always equal to the order of the matrix minus rank of a minus lambda i matrix So with the help of this formula one can easily find what is geometric multiplicity of the particular eigen value of the matrix Now let us see if a is a diagonalizable matrix then how to find the corresponding invertible matrix p and the diagonal matrix d We know that if a is diagonalizable then a can be written as p d p inverse Here d is a diagonal matrix and can be obtained by substituting eigen values of the matrix along the diagonal of the matrix d all the other non diagonal entries are all zeros whereas matrix p can be obtained by taking corresponding eigen vectors of matrix a 
and putting them along the columns of matrix P. So in this way, one can find the corresponding invertible matrix P and the diagonal matrix D whenever matrix A is diagonalizable. Let me explain you this with an example. Let A be a diagonalizable matrix with eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 with corresponding eigenvectors x1, x2 and x3 where A can be represented by this matrix. Eigenvectors x1, x2, x3 can be represented by these vectors. Then corresponding invertible matrix P can be given by this way. Here you can see that x1 is the first column of P x2 is the second column whereas x3 is the third column of P. Now I'll show you how you can write matrix D. Matrix D can be written in this way as a diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are the corresponding eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. In this way a diagonal matrix A can be represented as P D P inverse where P is this matrix of eigenvectors and D is matrix of eigenvalues. Now let us see a real example. Here the question is determine whether the following matrix is diagonalizable. If yes then find the modal matrix P and the corresponding diagonal form. So first of all we will find whether the given matrix is diagonalizable or not. This can be concluded by finding eigenvalues of A. So let us first find out the eigenvalues of A. For that we have to write the corresponding characteristic equation which is given by determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. Using the trick which I taught you in my previous video one can write the characteristic equation in this way lambda cube minus 12 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 32 is equal to 0. Those who don't know how to write characteristic equation directly, they can watch my that video whose link is given in the description box. Now using calculator one can solve this characteristic equation and write the corresponding eigenvalues. If the eigenvalues are distinct then we can conclude that the given matrix is diagonalizable directly. If the eigenvalues are not distinct then we have to check whether the algebraic multiplicity of every eigenvalue is same as its geometric multiplicity. So by solving this equation we found that the eigenvalues are 2, 2 and 8. So we see eigenvalues are not distinct so we cannot conclude directly that the matrix A is diagonalizable. So we have to find algebraic and geometric multiplicity of every eigenvalue. Here Algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue 2 is 2 because eigenvalue 2 occurs 2 times. Whereas algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue 8 is 1 because it occurs once. Now we find the corresponding geometric multiplicities. For that we have to find the number of linearly independent eigenvectors associated to every eigenvalue. We have already seen that the number of linearly independent eigenvectors associated to the corresponding eigenvalue can be given by order of the matrix minus rank of A minus lambda i matrix. So let us find the corresponding geometric multiplicities. First we take lambda is equal to 2. Substituting lambda is equal to 2 in this equation we can find the corresponding eigenvector. So after substitution we get this matrix. Now we will perform row transformations on this matrix to reduce it to row echelon form so that we can find rank of this matrix A minus lambda i. Carry forwarding that matrix on my next slide. Now we see that if I use transformation R2 is equal to R1 plus R2 and R3 is equal to R2 plus R3 we can reduce this matrix to this. Now we see that this matrix is in row echelon form. Now we can easily find rank of the matrix. Rank of this matrix or rank of the matrix in row echelon form 
is the number of non zero rows in that matrix here it is equal to 1 so rank of this matrix is 1 now you can easily say the number of linearly independent eigen vectors associated to lambda is equal to 2 is order of the matrix minus rank of a minus lambda i that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so geometric multiplicity of lambda is equal to 2 is 2 so here algebraic multiplicity of lambda is equal to 2 is same as geometric multiplicity now we'll find out the corresponding eigen vectors we will solve this equation for the same so we obtain the equation 2x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0 from this matrix here we have one equation in three variables so its solution can be obtained by substituting a random value to any two variables so for that we substitute x1 is equal to k1 and x2 is equal to k2 so after substitution we will get x3 is equal to k2 minus 2 times k1 so vector x1 x2 x3 is k1 k2 k2 minus 2 k1 which can be further written as k1 into 1 0 2 2 0 k2 into 0, 1, 1. so we say that vectors 1 0 minus 2 and 0 1 1 are the two linearly independent eigen vectors associated to lambda is equal to 2 now we check whether the algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity for lambda is equal to 8 are same or not since lambda occurs only once its algebraic multiplicity is 1 now we see its geometric multiplicity for that we have to see how many eigen vectors which are linearly independent associated with 8 so for that we solve equation number 1 that is a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 so after substituting lambda is equal to 8 in equation 1 we get this matrix form of the equation we will reduce a minus lambda i matrix to row echelon form to find its rank so we take this matrix and we perform r2 minus r1 and r3 plus r1 transformations we get this matrix after that we perform r3 minus r2 and we get this matrix here this matrix is in row echelon form and the number of non zero rows in it are 2 so its rank is 2 so we can say that the number of linearly independent eigen vectors associated to lambda is equal to 8 is order of the matrix minus rank of a minus lambda i that is 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 so geometric multiplicity of that lambda is equal to 8 is 1 hence algebraic multiplicity is equal to geometric multiplicity in case of lambda is equal to 8 therefore this matrix is diagonalizable now we find the corresponding eigen vector associated with lambda is equal to 8 so for that we solve equation number 1 that is a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 in that we put lambda is equal to 8 so after solving that we will get this equation we will solve this equation for the values of x1 x2 and x3 for that we use cramer's rule we will take first two equations from this which are minus 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 0 and minus 2x1 minus 5x2 minus 1x3 is equal to 0 writing the setup of cramer's rule we have x1 upon determinant of coefficients of x2 and x3 is equal to minus x2 upon determinant of coefficients of x1 and x3 is equal to x3 upon determinant of coefficients of x1 and x2 which further indicates x1 upon 12 is equal to x2 upon minus 6 and x3 upon 6 
further solving which we get x1 upon 2 is equal to x2 upon minus 1 is equal to x3 upon 1. So we get only one vector x3 is equal to 2 minus 1 and 1. Since algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity are equal in case of all the eigenvalues of the matrix, we say that matrix A is diagonalizable. Then its corresponding modal matrix that is invertible matrix can be obtained using the corresponding eigenvectors whereas the diagonal matrix can be obtained using the corresponding eigenvalues it is given by these two matrices. See that eigenvalues are 2, 2 and 8 they are along the diagonal of matrix D and the eigenvectors x1, x2, x3 forms the three columns of matrix P. So in this way, one can check whether the given matrix is diagonalizable. If yes, then one can find out its corresponding invertible matrix P and the corresponding diagonal form D. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.